Hey, what's going on? It's Mike. Welcome to my channel. I bought this Raveman blinking light for the front of my bike. It was an impulse buy. I saw this thing on Instagram and on Facebook and all the reviews and the comments were all really positive. So I was like, you know what? For 40 bucks, I'm going to give this a try and see whether it's worth it. The design is kind of neat. And you can see here that I snap my Garmin onto the top of the light and that from the bottom, it could attach onto an out front mount as long as you have a Garmin. Um, and you'll see in the shot in a few moments that it can actually mount to your bike in a couple of different ways. Uh, simple design, simple on off power. Uh, you can change between whether it blinks, whether it stays on, and you can use a little USB-C to charge it. And then you just kind of got to like push that little plastic thing back in. The charge itself lasts for I'd say about five hours to probably to dead. Um, but it doesn't take terribly long to charge up. Now here I'm at a park and I parked my bike and you can see I snap my Garmin onto the top of this out front mount. And then the little Raveman light, I actually use the bottom of pretty much any Garmin mount you have. It's going to have a choice to go on top or bottom. Now this seems a little clunky. You can put it one way or the other, but because of the design and the, you know, smart ingenuity or whatever of the, whoever the Raveman company is, you can actually have the light under the Garmin, if that makes sense, and I'll show you in a second. But you can see here I'm kind of toggling through the different light effects. Now I will say it's bright, but I wouldn't use this as like some sort of like headlight. I think it's more for a safety aspect in my mind, just for visibility. So I wouldn't use it thinking you can ride in the dark and that this is going to be good enough that you'll be able to go out for a ride and be able to see where you're going. So here I'm going to show you there's another way you can mount it since it's got like a connector on the and I'm struggling here, but it can connect it on the top or on the bottom and I'm doing this one hit while holding the camera. You can put it on the top and then you can actually snap the Garmin on top of it. Now it's the stack's getting to be a little tall so it's not really the prettiest thing, but I mean, it does work so you don't have maybe a separate light attached in another space. And why I think this is kind of neat is that if you're somebody like me who every now and then likes to go out and actually put like a GoPro on your out front mount, you still have the option now to attach your GoPro to the bottom of the out front mount. Now here, this is me at home because I did not bring the attachment to do it. I forgot it when I left. So in the basement here, and, and pardon the mess of my basement, you can see that um, you're able to attach the GoPro or some other device said you know, whatever you can on the bottom, but then you can still put the Garmin on top. Yes, I know it looks hideous and you can see here with my bell and whatever, but you know, here you can see I'm riding, I've got it in two different spots. I've got a goofy goose neck thing on my, on my GoPro or whatever. And like, sometimes that just makes it a little easier. So you can you have a ton of options. And that's why I think for 40 bucks, this thing is totally worth the money just for the safety aspect, riding in the day, people can see a little bit easier. This thing is available from their website. I bought it on Amazon on Prime Day and I got it for like $40. So anyway, I think the thing's pretty cool and it's worth the 40 bucks. So get one, check it out. Have a great day, bye.